What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I would like to run the air raid shallow crossing concept out of two by two spread. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I just wanna thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to click that subscribe button down below. It just allows you to be able to know whenever we release a new video that can help you become a better Madden player. All right guys, so in this video, we are talking about the shallow crossing concept. As you can see right here, it's on my screen. And uh, I'm just gonna be going over a couple of different ways that you can run this. This is the eight shallow cross. Um, you're gonna see here that in my audibles, I actually have, um, I'm gonna just put all of the shallow crosses. I'm gonna go Y shallow cross. I'm also gonna have the H shallow cross in here, as you can see right there. And then I'll just you know put some other plates in there just to get us uh, some additional routes that we might wanna use uh, depending on the situation. And then as you can see here, um, what I like about this Arizona Cardinals playbook is you get this these different types of shallows. You get H shallow, Y, y shallow, Z shallow, um, all of those different types of uh, shallow crossing concepts, okay? So we're gonna come out and play curl wheel, but as you see, I've set all of these different shallow crossing concepts uh, for us to be able to discuss. Now, really quickly, before we go any further in today's video, I wanna let you know that we actually have a full air raid offensive guide available. I think this is my favorite offense that I've ever really ran in Madden. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of different types of routes and combinations of routes it's really mirrored after the air raid that how mummy and mike leach made famous at the kentucky um and then obviously now mike leach with uh, i think mississippi state and then how mummy uh coaching in the xfl so if you want to get um if you want to learn kind of my spin on this offense you can get that and how to run it in madden you can get my air raid offensive guide in the description of this video but anyways, we're going to be talking today about shallow cross. So what is shallow cross? Well, shallow cross is really a two-man concept. Um, it's really kind of practically how this is going to work out for us. And basically, the whole idea of this is to essentially take, uh, to essentially clear out underneath space so that you can run this under route, okay? So the way that it looks like, if you look at this uh, just Y shell cross right here, this is the gist of the concept. Now, you can tag different routes depending on the situation, but the original way to run this would be basically to do this. Essentially, we're clearing out space with these two outside receivers by putting them on streaks, and then basically we're gonna isolate a certain defender. The defender that we're gonna isolate in this is we're gonna isolate these linebackers and corners over here on this left side, mainly the slot corner. And so if the slot corner goes back, if they go back, then we can just simply take this little dump route and try to get some yards after the catch. If they come up at the snap of the ball, or there's nobody in the middle of the field, which is common if you're facing somebody that's running a Mabel coverage, and maybe they go underneath with the drag, then what you're going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to go to your dig route. So drag and then go to the dig is basically how you're going to look at this. Now, there's Madden twists that we can put on this play to make it a lot of fun to run. Okay, Madden twists that we can put on this play to make it a lot of fun to run. And one of those things that I like to do is I love to have Hot Route Master on the field or just a simple slot apprentice because one of my favorite tags or one of my favorite little options to be able to do out of this is to take that dig route and actually turn that into um, a post route. So you see here, I'm gonna put Godwin on a post. You see the only difference is really just kind of the more, it's gonna open up more space uh, within this. So it's really basically a sharp cutting in route. You could do a crossing route if you wanted to, but I find personally the post route to be the most successful. And what you're gonna see here that's gonna happen is if they don't cover that post all the way across the formation, you're gonna be able to throw that all the way across. What I like about this is it forces your opponent to have to make a decision, what are they gonna do? Now, one of the things I wanna make a real quick point about this concept is a tip that I found out of Jay Wall, uh, or just kind of something I took away from what, an interview that he was doing. But he was talking about Madden, and every now and then these really great players will sum up the game in a, a sentence or two. And Madden, or, uh, Jay Wall said about Madden, he said, Madden is a game of high lows. That's all Madden is, it's high lows. And basically what a shallow cross is, is a high-low. You're high-lowing the defender that is over in the left side box, okay? You can do this from multiple sides. So the reason I bring that up is because we can actually do different things. It doesn't have to be a post route, right? Um, it can be a streak. Um, 
For example, I could run this concept right here and it's still shallow cross. All right, it's three verticals, but it's a shallow cross. You see here, the shallow cross comes underneath and as you can see, we're able to throw it. Now, a quick little pro tip for shallow cross. Um, if you wanna run the shallow crossing uh, concept, I actually really, really like to run the shallow cross, especially in Madden. I love to run this concept from the wide receiver, and I actually like to run it from the, um, you know, basically if you were facing a defense like this, I want my drag to come from the left side, which means I can put my high route on the opposite side. So it could look something like this. I could do, I could basically do this right here. And then I just need to get the back opposite. Now, the reason I like this is because this forces them to have to, def to basically really declare early, am I gonna go with the tight end route or am I gonna go with the shallow cross? So I can do this from all kinds of things. The shallow cross is a concept and here's the core of the concept. I really want you to hang with me. It's a high-low. It's a high-low on a specific defender or a specific component of the field. So what we're doing is we're gonna take Let's say, for example, we're going to take this box right here where David is, this box, and this is the place we're going to make the read. So at the snap of the ball, what we're looking for is if, if I could do something like this right there. That's the shallow crossing concept, okay? And what you're going to see is I'm looking at that right side of the screen. Do they go with the tight end? No, they don't. So I can now throw that ball really, really easily. Now, if they do, let me show you an example of what that might look like. This is gonna cause people um, to have to do different things. For example, uh, one of the things they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to basically follow the tight end up the seam. So you might get a look that is in essence, just like this right here. This is a very popular defense that people will go to. Well, if they go to that defense, you're gonna see here, shallow cross, same concept. Now there's no middle linebacker in the middle of the field, and now I can just easily get this guy an open space and that's really the concept. Can I get a really fast guy in open space underneath all of the coverage? Okay, let me show you that one more time. Let me try to get you a little bit better of a uh, run after catch animation here. So again, we're just boom, boom, boom. It's really easy. We're just basically saying go vertical. They go vertical. We throw right in here and now you can juke or spin or whatever. One cut up the field and get five to 10 yards every single time. Okay, so that's what shallow cross is. Now I want to I want to show you um, another way that I like to run this, and I was talking about this a second ago. I really really like to do this, especially um, especially if my opponent is running um, a lot of Mabel coverage, because I want to be able to basically force them to have to come down throughout the entire play. And so what I like to do is I like to take the outside receiver on the shallow cross. So I actually typically like to run this from the short side to the wide side. So it could look something, it, it could literally look something like this right here. This is shallow cross. I have three verticals, I have an underneath route, I have that high low, um, I have that post route, and I might even do something like that. I might even motion in this post, and now you can see I've created this concept with one of my favorite routes in the entire game, this post route to the circle receiver. So they go with the post route with their user, and now I've got that underneath. I've got that underneath. If they don't go with the post route, then I can go with the post route. So you see how we can apply this concept to different players on the field. Another example, another really easy one, um, and I don't think I have the play here um, that, I, that I was hoping, but let's just go to H shallow cross for just a moment. So you see I can have this right here. It's the same concept. And if they blitz you, this is one of the best plays against the blitz because that drag will come open at multiple different points on the play. Another thing that you can do with this, though, is you can actually leverage the power of a corner route in combination with this. So it could look something literally like this right here is a really good version of this play. I would probably um, just simply take the running back and move him to this side. I think that's a good move because you have this nice little natural table route. But what you'll see here is now you've got this high low between the, you've got the corner route at one point, but you've also got the post coming over the top of that. That's a great way to be able to run this concept. You're still accomplishing that high low that we had talked about, that high low that is so important in this offense 
for it to be able to be successful. Um, let me a good play to do this out of his curl wheel. As you see right here, um, we're going to create the high low concept once again. Now we're just using a wheel route on the left side to get vertical, um, and then we're taking a streak up the seam, and under, under it is a post route. So very good concept here. And if they sit underneath on that drag, you're throwing that post route every single time. So that is the shallow cross concept. You can do this out of any play in this formation, and you can honestly do this from any play in Madden. I absolutely love this concept. I think it is a must add if you're going to be, um, you know, you could do something like this right here. This is a great way to run this concept because you get these seam streaks that really can pull the defense vertical, and then you come underneath and get a couple yards with your drag. A lot of fun to run this concept. This concept is really, really fun to run. You can do it out of almost anything. So let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full air raid offensive system, then you can get that down in the description below. I think it's pretty cheap. It's probably like 10 to 15 bucks for the entire offensive guide. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the guide, it's in the description.